Hi, I'm Aubrey Coates, and I chose Amelia Island as my tourist destination. I drove three and a half hours with a few friends to visit the beach town and was really surprised at how it exceeded all of my expectations. Located in the North Florida region, the small beach town just south of Georgia called Amelia Island is a historic site that tourists flock to for the well-known festivals, renowned golf courses, shelly beaches, and beautiful sunrises. I chose this destination because of the rave reviews that I got from friends and family. I've always been anxious to visit and now I finally had a good reason. The little town on the Atlantic coast not only is a 13 mile stretch of warm sandy beach, but it has the cute charm of locally owned shops and one of a kind restaurants. The city's rich history includes having had eight flags from different territories fly and claim ownership over the island. This is what's known as the Isle of Eight Flags. The flags span from those of the French, Spanish, British, the Spanish yet again, the Republic of Florida, Mexican, Confederate, and finally United States flags. The local museum offers unique and exciting exhibits to learn all about the town's intriguing past. Part of what makes the beach town so inviting is the friendly faces all around town. The tourist-friendly locals make visitors feel welcome and have become used to giving directions to all the confused strangers. Even if it's a courteous wave from the family that's crossing the street or another diner that holds the door open as you enter, I notice that almost everyone exudes politeness and gave helpful suggestions. The people play a large factor in what makes this town so special and the welcoming atmosphere is what makes you want to keep coming back. Within the long stretch of beach, there are certain sections that are designated for different purposes. The beaches include Main Beach, Peters Point, Seaside Park, Fort Clinch, American Beach, and Amelia Island State Park. The beach I visited was Main Beach, and I noticed that it had lots of grills, picnic tables, and it was close to the island's putt-putt course and a restaurant located right on the water. Interestingly enough, when the beaches were segregated, American Beach was a vacation spot for wealthier African Americans, just like we saw in the movie Sunshine State, which just so happened to be filmed on the island. Fernandina's beaches are one of Florida's best kept secrets and are definitely worth visiting. The historic district is an area located downtown full of places to shop and eat right by the water. Strolling down the sidewalks, you will find clothing boutiques, unique restaurants, toy stores, ice cream shops, bookstores, bakeries, a tattoo parlor, coffee shops, and souvenir stores. The friendly store owners and helpful employees make shopping an enjoyable experience. The district even boasts over 400 historic structures like churches and homes that allow you to see what the city looked like in the past. The island is recognized for having some of the best restaurants around. Whether you're looking for burgers, seafood, Mexican, pizza, or barbecue, there's a place that serves it. Places like Pablo's Mexican Grill, the Waterway Cafe, and ice cream at Fantastic Fudge are what makes it such a memorable experience. Another thing the island is known for is their outrageous festivals. The Isle of Eight Flags Shrimp Fest is the city's largest tourist event and pulls in over 150,000 people on average. There's also the Concord to Elegance Automobile Festival and the Slide into Spring Reggae Music Fest. With so many unique and enjoyable events, it's easy to find something for everyone to enjoy. If you are questioning whether or not to make Amelia Island your next vacation visit, the beautiful beaches, kind people, rich history, exciting activities, and overall atmosphere make it an easy decision. It is worth the drive to experience one of Florida's oldest and most preserved cities and is the perfect place to book your next getaway trip.